Hello everyone and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Yeah, uh, you might have noticed that last week I did not post one of these. As I said, it is not going to be a series that is guaranteed to be posted on a certain day like my pr other ones going on until one of those is finished. So for now, this is going to stay. Um, I just, last week I was just too tired too. I was, not, I was just out of it all last weekend, so I was like, nope, I'm just staying. I'm just gonna relax. So, we're gonna continue on from where last time we did, we found some clues there and we came over into this area. It is, and we, we found more like of the family member here, what was Hearst, I believe. Oh, yeah, was uh, stuff. Oh, there's that. Um, oh, I don't want that. Definitely don't want that. Just want to bring up the clues menu. There we go. Okay. So, while this goes over here and it's not connected and brings all the way down to here, it seems to me like it should be connected because. If you go into the things here, we go down to the oh, what was it? The order? No. Uh, her list. Everyone in Group S was in that list here, and this list has to do. With the special education program, so it feels like it should be connected. Oh, okay, I got into first person mode. I didn't even know you could do that. I don't think. Okay, so there's it should be connected. It seems like it would really be connected, but I don't think we have enough information right now. I think in order for us to figure this out, we're gonna have to. Hi, Toby. Brave Toby. Best we're gonna have to uh, go right over and get into, uh, first, uh, no, Lord Marsh's house and investigate his house. Huh. Wait, isn't this the place where we were sneaking around? Yeah, it is. I think so. Yeah, I believe we snuck around here is, uh, that boy, but I could be wrong. Anyways. Let's get over to the. Let's go over to the um, driver, wherever he is. Can I actually enter these houses? I can knock on it. I'm not expecting anyone. And they will respond. So I'll we'll probably get some random crap like that. Interesting. Uh, it's fun that you can at least interact with more of those things than just that. We're just gonna leave Toby. He'll he'll find his way home, I guess. I couldn't pick him up. I just interacted with him. And the only thing that happened was I went to that. So let's go to Lord Marsh's house. We don't want to come to any conclusions yet, but we want to investigate this house. I don't know if I have to go back to my house for any reason, but. Yeah, let's go to back to Lord Marsh's house and figure out what to do from there. Because he, we're going to have to sneak into his house, so I may or may not have to, you know, be dressed up. Or he's just going to immediately go there and just kind of hide. Holmes, what are you doing here? What are you planning? A mission of my own. You must play the role of the conscientious doctor while I sneak inside Marsh's house. That's the only way of helping you at all. Sure, whatever. Okay. This is not the best way to sneak in. I think I know the best way to sneak in is gonna be from the back door. I'm just wondering if I can look through like the windows and stuff. No. Nope. Don't have any action there, so let's just So I can't go in through that door. I can, however, go over there, most likely.
Uh, it's weird not to be pressing a sneak button myself. I'm so used to playing stealthy characters as it is from in games. The window is firmly shut. Okay. Window is firmly shut. I think I unlocked this door last time I came here. But let's check this other window first. The window is firmly shut. Okay. What about this door? Oh, okay. We have to choose lockpicks again. Okay, so we want to grab number one. For the first one. And it looks like we're gonna want level two. There's no space for, this lock There's no space for that lockpick. Okay. There's no space. There's no space. Oh. Uh, switch to. Okay. Oh, we wanna remove it. Oh, I didn't see the remove button. We want this one to unlock that. Okay. So we do that, and we're gonna want to sneak in here. How can I help you? I came to visit Lord Marsh. What for? I would very much like to see Lord Marsh, if you please. Okay. Oh, you're so clumsy. Can you please not I have to visit Lord Marsh and offer him my services? Fisher, please allow Dr. Watson to enter. Good job, Watson. Uh, for a second there I thought I was playing as um Sherlock. Okay, so Okay, so let's see here. We've got hunting various animals. At least in this Lord Marsh is a keen hunter. Okay, did is that the only one I get to look at? Can I? Yeah, it's. I guess no matter which one I look at, it's gonna be that. Okay, and that's everything there. But I got another clue apparently. Yeah, he's a interpret, which is going to connect to the, the club. Let's face it. Hey, wait. Why is this? Why is it? I guess it's just new. Okay, sure. Well, let's go over here. Huh. Over here. I mean, that was where the coat of arms was, so I assume that that would be the case. I can hide here. Oh, okay. So, if I need to hide, I have a hiding spot. I'm assuming that I might need to hide. Okay, there's a painting over there. But before I do that. Okay. I can Why can't I just move this? I, I can't turn it in any way. I can just move it. That's literally all it's doing. It's moving. I'm assuming that... Dear Lord Moss, thanks to this special education program, my life has been changed completely. I didn't know how to thank you, so I picked you this flower. Thank you. Okay. Neat. It's just, why can I move this? Can I, just, can I place it somewhere? Is it going to matter? Let's just throw it over there. Oh. Like, it was over here. I thought it would be blocking something, but no, it's just kind of there. It's, I can't turn it around in any way. Okay, let's see here. I can move this, so maybe. Dear Lord Collins, I, it, it is clear to me that we can learn a great many things about uh, running the Empire from those whom we trample underfoot. These same people whom we leave uh, destitute and starving in the shadows of our own cities, at home or abroad. Okay. Can I move this one? No. I can pick up this, though. To this day, and by my estimation, estimation, the special education program has saved over 200 individuals from the gutter and elevated them to help form and support the critical foundations of our uh, prosperous empire. This is largely thanks to the wisdom and foresight of Lord Marsh, who is the most, a most progressive and wise politician. He has carried out a great deal of... 
work in the field whilst ignoring the critics and hindrances from his arrogant colleagues who are so set in their ways. Okay, I'm assuming that that's it then. Because I can't even interact with this table anymore. Okay, is there anything else I can look at before going to that painting? Because I know I have to look at that painting. Okay, painting it is. Painting is hanging crooked like fingerprints. Okay. Oh. I see how hard to crack this segment. Doctor, it appears that you were impatient to pay me another visit. Indeed. Will you allow me to examine you? A second to come, so that the great Lord Marge does not become the late Lord Marge. Oh, uh, since you put it that way. Very well. Shall I retire to your office, Lord Marsh? No, please, Doctor. I insist that you stay. I shall need your assistance. Will you break anything else? I'll try my best. Okay, so... Can you go hide over here? I didn't cover up the painting. Interesting. It didn't matter. Okay, cool. I forgot to cover the painting back up, so I thought maybe that would have been a bad thing. But no, I'm okay. Okay. Rotate the safe dial and locate the area to uh, clear sound. Feedback to confirm the correct safe combination. Okay. I don't... Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. And finally. There we go. Interesting. Okay. Getting used to some of these here. Oh, bunch of letters here. So more reading. Uh, I so admire all of these poppers. They seem to... Uh... Excuse me? I so admire all of these poppers. They seem to ooh, me such a breath of fresh air, communicating with them in such a, in such a pleasure. And they are so smart. Not like us. Perhaps it is... Who, uh, perhaps it is they who should have been lords, and we the simple commoners, Lord Harrington. Okay, there's money in here. Go. November 7th. This means that the meeting is planned for today. Okay. Dear Lord Marsh, on November 7th, our meeting starts at Grunston's Oak. I have attached a map of this, uh, to this letter, so that you may find the place easily. Lord Collins. And I'm assuming this is the map. Okay, did... Okay, the map's over here. Alright, cool. Oh. There's search activities. The archives. I had to search the archives for it, okay. Okay, I was... So am I just going to leave that then? Okay, uh, let's see here, let's imagine, 
I doubt there's going to be anything. A little more search on this. A little more quick run around here. This this doesn't do anything. Nothing over here. I can hide here. Hide here. I need to go back to that, which has nothing to do it. So I guess I just sneak out then. Hmm. I'd suggest that your current weakness is perhaps more than a simple case of defense. <laughs> Where might your companion be, Dr. Watson? Oh, he's busy poking his nose into other people's business, I'm sure. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. My lord, I'm sorry to interrupt, so but I must remind you about your meeting. Is it already time? My apologies, Dr. Watson, but we are expected elsewhere. Might we offer you a lift? You're going out. I'm not sure that's wise in your condition. I value your opinion, but misery never rests and I am needed. Well, do please take good care of yourself, Lord Marsh. I'll send you my diagnosis. Thank you, Dr. Watson. Farewell. Okay, so we got, I guess, a blood sample from them, too, because there was a spot that stain on there. So he's uh, so when I get Doctor Watson stuff, he's pretty much a quick time event where I'm assuming that I have some uh, some a decent amount of time to do that because I uh, when both times I've done it, so anything with Watson so far it was like I knocked out on that base and then I swiped that thing. So Watson mo motive seems to be that, or I find out small pieces of information. I didn't have it with that one little thing where like oh we found out he had to hide, so I already knew we had to end up you know hiding. Okay, so we've got some evidence can be used in those motivations. You will need to mark with specific icons. Yep, I already figured that out. Toby's back. There's Toby. Okay, I'm assuming. Oh, here it is. Analyze, uh, analyze handkerchief, which is what Watson is currently doing. Watson, what are you doing at my table? I just need to check one thing about Lord Marsh. Okay, I guess. Oh, here we go. Intuition tells me that Lord Marsh is hiding something about his disease. It's... His cough, in addition to his fever and his usage of strong painkillers, leads me to believe that he is seriously ill. Okay, so first of all, let's study it more closely. Okay, e. set focus. There we go. Could take a sample and examine it under the microscope. Okay, which one do I this tool? It's not the tool it looked like I clicked on, but okay. And then we put it on, put it there. Let us apply chemicals to color this up. Okay. Okay, so that's carbon uh Do I have I need a pipette? A pipette. What? What's a pipette? I don't, I don't know. I never did chemistry. Um, oh, it's th this thing. Okay. I, c I couldn't tell what this was. I'm assuming I want to add. This chemical should be applied first. Okay, well, that should tell me. This chemical should be applied second. It's literally just not in order. Okay, that, that works. I'm perfectly fine with that then. Okay, I'm assuming just right on there. Okay, and I'm assuming we're going to want to go ahead and go all three directly. And do that. Okay, so glad well, some of these just let me tell me I probably won't be told again. Now, let's examine the colored sample under the microscope. So that's Go. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I click on the microscope. Examine this stain in detail and look for unusual elements. Okay. Uh, here we go. Must be this. Lord Marsh is seriously 
Holmes, this is no longer a laughing matter. It is just as I feared Lord Marsh is suffering from tuberculosis. You don't say. Yes, I do say. And Holmes, he will die if he is not transferred to a sanatorium as soon as possible. And yet both Lord Marsh and Dr. Fisher are doing their best to hide this fact. How interesting. But why? Why indeed, Watson? Oh, but... Oh, dear no. You don't think that Lord Marsh contracted tuberculosis while aiding the fall. How terrible. I have a commitment that I can't possibly press. Holmes, during my absence, please be extremely careful. This disease is highly contagious. And remember that we have women at home. Okay. Uh, I wasn't sure you, what it was to be. It took that long to help. Oh, okay. Never mind. Me a book. She is so kind. I think she likes you. <laughs> I doubt that. How is your investigation going? It's going. Oh, of course she's very good. Yes. It's forbidden reading at my boarding school. Did you know? Well, well. Okay, I can talk directly to Kate. Again, it's cool. It is thrilling. Alright, that's simple enough. <laughs> Why is that forbidden reading, I wonder? Oh. Ah, that's lovely. So we can't do anything else with that, I don't think. He's got tuberculosis. Okay, so we want to look at Grunson's, uh, Grunson's Oak. Excuse me. Uh, architecture, history, botany, medicine, that's not going to help. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that, it could, but I don't think it's... Uh, research, chemistry, wounds, marks, and symbols, badges, martial arts. Sure. Huh. Maybe I do. It's pinpoint on the map that was like, uh, Wounds, marks, symbols, badges, medals, martial arts, chemistry. I doubt it'd be in the newspaper. Yeah, it's definitely not, because these are going to be. I mean, I suppose it could be still. I would think. Uh, okay, we want to look at this. I guess not. Um, let's see, it could be history. But Napoleon, Green Dragon Tavern. Roman history. Yeah, it's not these. Technology, it's not going to be a technology. Economic science, urban. Uh, desk capital. Art and architecture. And this is Grunston's Oak. This is a parliament. No. Okay. It still might be under that one. Let's go to newspapers and see what we have. Oh wow, we've got a lot. So let's see here. Some memorial foundation, death you know, duties introduced. Uh, explosion. See, here we go, right there. It has locations, and that's why I said that it might be in here. Prime Minister. Uh, what was that? Was that? Uh, yeah, that's Prime Minister. So, I mean, oh crap. Well, I'm here. Nope. Okay. No. Wounds and injuries. Marks and symbols. Butler's pawn. Badges and medals. I don't really see anything here because it just it was it's attached it was just attached to an invitation. It's not gonna be like martial arts. Uh, it's, yeah, this is not gonna be in there at all. Let's just go back over here. It's probably in newspapers, I would think. Uh, uh, someone's death. Uh, no, no, no. Nineteen eighty one. Got one of those. Oh, there's a double murder of Baker Street, but that's see, a lot of these have locations. 
so I figured maybe here. Um, 84. Boston Bank Robbery, Dudley and Stevens Cannibals, Switch, Apple Murders, D5, Victory Dabu, Lincoln Burgley, nope, nope. D6, English Art Club, no. Flying Lobsters. I want to know more about that one, but I'm not going to find out, I'm sure. Bloody Sunday. Just study in Scarlet. I just click on the same exact one. That's exactly what I want to do, right? Jack the Ripper. The Dart in Prison. 89. Cleveland Street. New Educate. Well, I figured I'd try. 90. Scotland Arhards, Royal. 31. Great Blizzard, London Bears. 92. And okay. Uh, well. Okay. Is there anything on this thing that's going to help me out here? Really? Okay. I don't know. Unless I miss something. But there's nothing over here in research. I don't want to skip anything because. No, that's not happening. It's not going to be here. I mean, I just did the chemistry part. Marks and symbols. Yes, was a one. Like Okay, let's exit real quick. I'm hoping it didn't start that. Let's see here. Maybe map. A map of London and its surroundings. Nope. Could be useful. It's an actual map, so I thought maybe there, but apparently Grunson's O is just going to be this research thing. Okay. Didn't point on the map. That was attached to Lord Marsh's invitation. Okay. That's not the one I need. 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 I didn't think so. Uh, Royal Economics, Global. Okay. I didn't actually want to click on that. Why not Dynamite? History. I think I already... Medicine. I figured that medicine might have actually been in there in one way or another. Okay, there it is. Brunson's Oaks is a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. I know, and I, I know oak is, that's why I thought it would be in here, but I thought it would also, you know, talk about the thing. Like, actually have it in the name. There's a strange and mysterious tree that grows in Epping Forest. The, f oh origin of its name is unconfirmed, although there are many legends and fables connected with it. Some people say that over centuries, witches performed their ceremonies near this tree, and these rites have, assure, have assured uh, that whoever may touch the trunk of uh, Grunston's oak will be cursed for all time. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We have that. Oh, um, okay, now let's search the map. Okay, so yeah, we do need the map. I just was a step ahead on that. Okay. Are you only ever to say that? Really? Yep, only it is thrilling. Okay. Let's try to find the place from the hand drawn map. Okay. Well, let's move this. So, first of all, we need to find Epping Forest, right? 
Okay. Grove Lodge. Okay, cool. This will come with me. Alright, so there's a hill. I need to find a forest. I'm seeing a bunch of wooded areas around here, so I'm thinking it might be around here. There's the oak right there. I actually just found it. Here it is. Right. I need to hurry if I want to find out what's going on in the forest. Okay. Father, that boy Wiggins, does he come here very often? He helps occasionally in some of my cases. Why do you ask? I'd like to talk to him. Talk to him? Father, back at school there are only girls to talk to, and they are so boring. I'm sure Wiggins has lots of exciting stories to tell about his life in London. It would be so romantic. Uh, let's be reasonable. Yeah. Kate, you know that Wiggins hasn't had the most fortunate life. That only makes him more interesting. <laughs> oh. Uh, I wasn't sure what to choose for that one. Oh, hello. Okay, I... You told me I had new stuff, okay? Space to clues? Oh, map and invitation. Okay, so now we just got more things just connected over here. Meeting... Interested cannot do that anymore. Information. Not can. No, wait, not. Can, uh, will you let me click connection? Okay, there we go. Hello, everyone. Uh, quick thing, I just had to cut this video here. It got way longer than expected, so um, I'm gonna cut it here uh, and we continue this next time from the same spot. It was just, the video was an hour long, and I just need to make it a little bit shorter. So, thank you everyone for watch watching. I hope you enjoy it, and it will continue next week. See you next time.